Yo, what's up, y'all? It's been an update with Koala Sampler. That will allow you to send MIDI outside of the app. So check it out. First thing you want to do is be in sample. And I'm going to assign uh, one of these pads to a MIDI out. So I'm going to go to samples on the side right there. And then I'm going to go to more. And then we have MIDI out. And drag it onto one of the empty pads. Next thing you want to do is go to edit and go to uh, wherever you want to send it out. Right now it's on channel one, sending out to all. I set up sampler and I set up module to receive MIDI. So I'm going to use module on this case. Now if we bring up the module app, we're going to bring up Koala Sampler right here, minimize it we can choose between different instruments and if we want to control the keyboard on the module app we go to the keyboard area now we're able to control the keyboard on module also like uh, let's see there's different layouts I'm not sure how well the note repeat works right now with it, but. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. Velocity. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, I think it's great now because you can control, you can sequence your, your uh, track, something like module with uh, Koala Sampler. So let, let's set up uh, a track real fast. I'm gonna go to get out of edit. I'm gonna set up a track. Let's record it. Now I got the module on on the B track right here. Yeah, that's pretty dope.
So yeah, that's just something tight that you could do now with a Koala sampler. Um, yeah, let me see another track. Let's go to empty track right here. We're gonna try to cook up another one real quick. Oops, go back. Go out of that one. Okay, I'm gonna go to this empty track right here. Nope. All right, we're in an empty track. And go from scratch again. Sequence, we're gonna make it two bars this time around. And this time we're gonna choose sampler as our MIDI. Go to samples, go to MIDI out. Drag it to that empty slot. Next thing we want to do is go to edit and then select the track we want to send it to. In this case, we're going to send it to sampler. If we go to sampler, now we gotta for sampler to work, we gotta set it up onto the Keyboard, or we can go to grid two. I got it set to chromatic, and uh, C3 is the first uh, slot. This uh, sampler app, I have it set to where the first MIDI channel will be uh, what's triggered when I select a different sample. You can select uh, which uh, sample you want triggered individually uh, as well in the sampler app. And I'll show that at a later date, but yeah, I just wanted to give a quick overview of like how Koala Sampler is able to send MIDI notes out now to other apps or other devices. So basically it's each, each uh samples uh each uh note is triggering a different uh slice of the of the sample. Yeah, there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Peace.